What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Zoran in here with another episode of StarCraft 2 or another match. I guess it's not really an episode. Whatever. Let's check out today's combatants in the top right corner. Coming in in the red, Terran is going to be UCAP's own Dan. And in the bottom right hand corner, coming in the blue, Protoss is going to be Ty SP's Doki. Ty Spadoki. Ty Spadoki. He, of course, will just be called Doki because I don't really know what's going on there. Anyways, let's bring up that production tab so we can see what the two people are doing. And uh, obviously not gonna be a mirror matchup today, thank God. I feel like I've been doing only mirror matchups lately. I don't think I've been doing only mirror matchups, uh, but it just feels like I am. You do so many mirror matchups and they seem to overpower the regular non-mirror matchups just because you know when you're doing a mirror matchup. Other matchups are just kind of there. It's interesting. Anyways, we'll move on. We'll deal with it. We'll watch this uh, scouting probie do his probing with his scoutingness. As uh, I get some frame rate drops. I'm going to throw it up here and see if there's uh, anything I shouldn't have open that I have open. Um, it looks fine for now. Close a a few random things but I don't think I'm doing anything wrong anyways we will continue on um I hope you guys took advantage of the oh we got a little uh, probe SCV action going on down here we'll follow that while I talk I hope you guys uh, got advantage of that steam summer sale in the past week a mighty massive amount of games on sale I picked up about probably six to seven games uh, that I've been wanting for a while, and a few extra special ones that I hadn't known about. Uh, a lot of good indie titles on sale that I picked up as well. Uh, in, uh, Steam is always good for those indie titles. Really nice products on Steam. Uh, I can't recommend them enough. Obviously not StarCraft, though. So let's keep to the StarCraft, because that's better. StarCraft's number one. Awesomeness as well. Anyways, that probe's not going to die. He's going to finally leave. Dan, uh, getting that guy out of there, finally. Uh, but Doki probably got all the real information information he needs, at least for now, this early in the game. Uh, apparently now he's gonna go scout for other bases. Um, <laughs> I'm actually not really sure what he's, uh, doing with it at the moment. Maybe he's gonna set up a proxy pylon over here. Uh, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Or even he could block off this third. Uh, definitely gonna be going with the proxy pylon as he's throwing it way up in the corner not going to be allowing Dan to at least easily find that. Dan's going to have to kind of purposely be like, hey, what's over here? Might be a proxy pylon. Let me take it out. That doesn't seem to be the case here, though, at least for the moment. Uh, Dan definitely uh, hitting up a couple Marines there. Obviously not opting for the wall off uh, as, in, as is not always needed or required against Protoss. Both players, both players, no. Uh, just Doki for the moment sitting on double gas. Dan not appearing to go for the fast expand, although he is up to almost 400 minerals. He may be going for it here shortly. We'll keep an eye on that. Ooh, we do have a Twilight Cancel poked over here. I think Doki's going to be DT rushing, and uh, that could get very intriguing. We're going to keep a very, very close eye on that uh, as it is uh, just about to finish. And I would expect a DT trying to come up very soon as he is pretty much got the minerals he needs uh, yeah just short on gas is what I thought and there it is dark shrine on the way DT shrine this is gonna be a dark Templar or rush is warp gate on the way yes indeed it is uh, he could be no he can't chrono boost it at the moment uh, so definitely a threat coming in Doki's definitely gonna want to chop down that SCB I uh, did uh, did Dan see the uh, yes, he did see the expansion just go down, though. Uh, so, eh, it's not a terribly late uh, ex Nexus. It's a little late, but not, like, screaming like something's going on late. It's just kind of like, maybe he made a weird decision. Maybe he's foregating. I don't really know what's going on kind of idea. Uh, Dan does appear to be doing a little bit of scouting. He did check his natural for some proxy pylons. These two Hellions may very well end up finding it. Uh, they are going to spot this probe. And the 
gonna take a quick sip of water, and that is gonna probably tell uh, Dan that there's something up here. And there he goes. He's oh oh no 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 he didn't. Oh no, he did he did he found it. Dan gonna completely spot the baddies here. Gonna start working on that pylon. Uh, one DT though is going to be completely morphed in and gonna start working on those aliens. He's gonna get them long before they are killed. They do have to retreat. Although a scan could have gone down, uh, he definitely didn't have the energy though, buying a mule just a little bit ago. And uh, mostly that attempt is going to be defeated. I would expect an eBay. No eBay on the way. Uh, but he's going to have enough energy fairly soon. And if he sits on that, which I can't imagine he won't, uh, considering he knows these DTs are coming, uh, there in fact is the turret. Where's that eBay? There's the eBay. I just completely overlooked it. And uh, that first DT, oh, does not even make it. And uh, the second one, scrambling about, uh, but sitting in that scan field. And, uh, ooh, he's, he's undetected now. The scan actually wore off. The turret goes down. Gonna, there's the second scan from the new op, orbital command. And I'm going to take that DT out. It wouldn't, ooh, there's another DT out by Doki. Uh, I mean, continue to send those DTs. You are going to continue to cost mules. It comes a point where is it worth it, isn't it? You don't know. And uh, with this counterattack coming, if Dan makes work of this, if he can really work out a lot of worker kills, he's very well going to make those DT rushes more and more costly. We're going to take out quite a few units here. Everybody's holding position. Oh, no, I cannot imagine. That is what Doki wanted. Quite a few probes went down there. A zealot as well. In fact, the second zealot almost getting killed. Quite a few more probes going down. So many dead units sitting here. And let's pull that. Workers killed up to 20. 20 workers killed by Dan in that attack. Making those Hellions worthwhile and making Doki pay. Absolutely pay for that. Doki is down to 20 probes right now. To 34 and mules definitely a massive lead right now for Dan he's just gonna reap that economical lead uh, a few more still warping in the DTs I'm really questioning what Doki is doing here uh, Dan gets sliced by a few of those DTs and gets out of there very quickly uh, an easy scan here could probably take out both of these DTs I'm guessing uh, Dan doesn't really want to ways to scan at this point he wants to bring those dts into his can uh into his turrets uh which unfortunately he does not have it as natural he's gonna have to throw down that scan and uh he's getting a little more dps on that guy there he goes but there are three more dts so much money going into dts for doki uh, a few zealots gonna or a few stalkers and a zealot gonna back this up scv's off the line for dan he is definitely at a bit of a risk here does not want to lose very many of these scv's though needs to be very careful Obviously forcing Doki into their feet and uh, not managing to take terribly many more losses. Uh, the Widow Mine's definitely helping to thin out the herd of that Protoss attacking force. Uh, three more Zealots moving in here. I do not imagine he will attack with a Zealot or three Zealots and a Stalker, especially a Stalker, not at full shields. Widow Mine's, though, going to be continuing to march forward, reinforcing that defensive line. And if he gets a lot more of those on the ramp, is going to make a squishy Protoss force moving up the ramp anytime it tries to attack. Those Widow, widow Mines can just be so brutal to troops, especially clump troops. You just have to be so careful with that. And uh, kind of surprising that bunker was empty for quite a while. I'm going to fill that up though now and uh, make sure that doesn't sit empty too long. And uh, oh my god. Gosh, this is a lot of zealots moving in here. And I think the problem is that Doki's just not getting the gas he wants. He's sitting on two gas only. Obviously, uh, an expansion of gas worthy. Uh, for the moment, Dan's sitting on two gas. But having uh, only two gas for Protoss is much more devastating uh, than, than a Terran with three gas. That obviously makes more sense uh, than, it, than I realized. But... Such is the case that you got to throw some more gas in there as Protoss. You really need those funds. What is going on up here? What am I missing? Oh, rock attacks. Oh, my gosh. 
and he takes the opportunity of the rocket attacks to move right in completely surrounding the bunker the bunker has gone scvs into repair all the widow mines have shot off their volleys did quite a bad a bit of shield damage a time bomb going down there not really doing too much it's only scv repairs down just a little bit that that bunker is going to go down a raven comes in he's just getting spot shot all up into more hell and more zealots coming in stop scvs back here still doing their thing waddling about and suddenly dan is cracking a lot of damage going down and this natural is suddenly in a lot of trouble gonna probably need to lift this off very soon i'm gonna sit it there for a while he's gonna get this one scv out and i assume lift it off here uh actually loading up the scv the, the orbital taking so much damage lift it off oh Zell is starting to take a bit of damage from the reinforcing Marauders. Unfortunately, that is not enough Marauders to clean us up. Those four Zealots could have taken them on, uh, but with the Window Mines reloading. Things are going to get bloody for these Zealots. Oh my gosh, so many Zealots going down to Window Mines, uh, but they continue to press forward. So many Zealots just on the field, and that charge just being so devastating right now. Really just mitigating that Marauder shell, the concussive shell just getting right through it. And uh, lots and lots of damage done to both players there, bringing up the units lost, units killed map. Uh, 27 workers now killed by Doki, and uh, units killed pretty even, 62 to 67. Uh, but Dan definitely holds the line, manages to do it. Obviously, the window mines helped quite a bit. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, Dan knows that this is over here and has continued to not be able to take it out. Uh, obviously, sending Hellions to try and take out the pylon just would not suffice. Suffice, And uh, it continues to persist and continues to be a threat. Obviously, now this proxy pylon is a bigger threat. And uh, moving a Widow Mine into it might help a little bit. But uh, running right past it doesn't help at all. I don't know where that middle mi Widow Mine is going. I guess he's going to go scout out the enemy base. Uh, this one's going to be equally stupid and just stand around it and be completely ignored by the entire Protoss force. Never mind. Right into the bulk of the army. That Widow Mine definitely could have helped here. And uh, suddenly this force is retreating. And the Widow Mine that was standing up definitely finally meets its end. This, oh, the, uh, the Archon going to escape. Nope, not going to escape. And this uh, proxy pylon is going to finally get sniped out. Dan looks like he might have some map control. He's going to go for that north structure. Or is he going to continue to chase this army? Uh, I don't think he even knows at the moment. Gonna lift up a couple Hellbats and warp off with that, or jet off, or what is this even called? Ignite Afterburners off. That doesn't sound quite as good as uh, just warp off. Uh, anyways, he's gonna set to the races and go sit there. No, there he is. He is going to do a distraction drop down here while he goes up and takes out the DT Shrine. Absolutely, finally. Oh my gosh, Hellbats taking out so many probes there. Could have taken out more if those probes had continued to blindly attack for some reason. Uh, no real reason to follow that. That is going to die uh, unceremoniously without a challenge. I do not imagine Doki warps anything in there to waste his time. Uh, wow, quite a few DTs there still. I don't know if those have been warped in or they're salvages of a past battle. I would assume he's actually warped them in. He's been getting a lot of Archons as he's currently sitting on just, just two. Just two for now. Uh, but he may be... Looking to get more as he is uh, definitely looking to combat this bio army. Uh, of course, with the Widow Mines and Hellbats, it's a little different. We may or may not see more of those come out. Uh, more. There's definitely more. There's quite a few there, in fact. Uh, not, not as many. There's four. So we're up to six total. Not a bad combo, though. I do like the MMH ball, I guess. Marauder, Marine, Hellbat. Marine, Marauder, Hellbat, however you want to say it. A couple stragglers over here. They need to be careful. That uh, Raven is an expensive unit. Don't want to lose that. And the army is engaged here. Archon's up front going to do a lot of bio, bio damage. Uh, luckily, the Hellions are up front as well. And they are ripping through the Archons. In fact, that ripping through the Archons forces Doki to GG out. And congrats to Dan for falling, pulling off the victory. Falling off the victory is not a word. Anyways, guys, please do thumbs up and subscribe so we can bring you more StarCraft 2. Thanks again to UCAP. And uh, go watch some more of my UCAP stuff if you are a UCAP fan, UCAP guy, or you're just curious about what UCAP is and uh, want to get involved a little more. Anyways, guys, I have been Zoranin. 
And that's going to do it for today. I will catch you all on the other side.